Are you looking at uh, raising some Caternix quail so you can get eggs off of them? And you're wondering, do I need a rooster around in order to do that? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're going to be talking about Caternix quail eggs and do you need roosters around in order to get eggs? You may have heard my rooster crowing just a minute ago. There's a good reason why you might not want to have them around if you're worried about them annoying your neighbors or any of those kinds of things. The good news is if all you're looking for is eggs from your quail, then you don't have to have a rooster around. These are just like any other bird, just like chickens or ducks or any other kind of bird. They're going to lay eggs regardless of whether there's a rooster around or not. Now, if you do plan on incubating your eggs and you want fertile eggs, then of course you are going to need at least one rooster for every four to five females that you have. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get fertile eggs out of it. Let me set these down here and I'll give you a couple of tips on what you can do to make sure that your, your hens are laying eggs, even if you don't have a rooster. All right, so as I said before, you don't need a rooster around in order for your Caternix quail to lay eggs. If you're having problems with your Caternix quail not laying eggs, the first and most likely issue with that is the lack of light, especially in the wintertime when the days are shorter. Caternix quail need about 14 hours of light every single day in order to lay eggs on a regular, consistent basis. So you need to make sure that you add some kind of external light source to, uh, to their coop to give them that extra light, uh, to, to extend the twilight, so to speak, to at least 14 hours a day from the time the sun comes up till the time the light goes off, and that should get them laying on a fairly regular basis. The next thing that you want to look at to make sure that they're laying on a regular basis, and if you plan on keeping them laying all year round, you need a really high protein food, 25% or more. Um, protein level. Look at game bird starters. Those are a great one. If you can't find game bird starter, look at turkey starter. That's a good option for you as well. Just make sure it has about 1.5 to 2 percent calcium in it and you're going to be fine. You can even use chicken starter or chicken layer, but usually those are a little bit lower protein and don't have quite that high of a protein, so you may want to, if that's the case and that's all you can get, you can supplement their protein level a little bit with things like mealworms and crickets and some of those kinds of things to give them a little bit of a boost in protein. And the other thing that you want to look at to make sure that your Caternix quail are continue to lay eggs is stability. And what I mean by that is they don't like to be moved around a lot. They don't like a lot of change in their environment. So if you've got different cages and you're moving them around all the time, that stresses the birds out. It really interacts or interferes with their egg laying cycle. And it's quite common that if you picked up some quail from somebody and they were laying eggs when you got them, you brought them home and they're not laying any eggs, very common thing. Whenever you move them around, put them in a new hutch, travel with them, whatever, it's almost always about two to three weeks before they start laying eggs again. It's just a common thing. So if you're having problems with your quail, try to find them a permanent spot, leave their hutch in that one spot, leave them there, leave them alone, and make sure they have plenty of light, and you're probably going to start getting eggs pretty quick. And, you know, weather can have a little bit of an effect on that. Uh, sometimes if we get like a really bad thunderstorm that comes through, it might throw the birds off for a couple of days, and they might quit laying for a couple of days. Or if it suddenly goes from hot to cold, you know, you just get a really, really sharp cold snap. Like it goes from, you know, highs in the 70s to all of a sudden the next day it's in the 30s, which happens very, very rarely, but then that's an extreme exaggeration. But you kind of get the idea. Real sudden drops in temperature or real sudden rises in temperature can kind of affect them for a day or two as well. So those are some things that you do want to look at if you're having problems with your birds laying eggs. But as far as roosters go, not needed at all. So if you're looking at just getting eggs out of your birds, you don't want the noisy roosters around annoying your neighbors or annoying you, then good, luck, good news for you, you don't need them. You can just simply eat the roosters or whenever you go to pick up quail, just buy females. You're going to have a really hard time finding somebody that's going to sell just females to you though. Um, everybody's got an excess of roosters and not enough females. So you're going to have a hard time with that, but if you can find it, great. If not, and you're against eating the males, find a neighbor, find a friend, somebody like that that might take them for you, and you can get rid of them that way. That way you don't have to worry about feeding them, you don't have to worry about the noise from them, and you're still going to get eggs from your birds every single day. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to all my subscribers for watching all my videos. Tune in on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock Central if you want to see me on a live broadcast. You want to ask your questions. I do my best to answer every question and answer every comment that comes up in the chat during that live broadcast. Usually lasts for about 35, 40, well about 45 minutes to an hour the last couple of weeks. Look forward to seeing you guys there as well. Hit that subscribe button if you want to stay updated with this content. And as always, God bless.